so today I want to talk about obsession sweet corn this corn was planted on July the 14th and this picture here is now on August the 6th and I want to go through some things about how I'm going to fertilize it and walk through the process on a tool that's actually picked and we'll see what it's like and see how it worked out this is actually my second time of planting corn this year uh, the first time I had a bad germination planted a little bit too early now when I planted this corn I went by the local extension. I did not do a soil test, which I would recommend. I kind of skipped that step there, but without a soil test, they recommended 30 pounds per thousand square feet of 5-10-10. Now I use 10-10-10. Um, I didn't mind having a little bit more nitrogen. Um, and that was when I planted the corn, I did that. Uh, also, that corn was planted on the 14th, and by the 19th, most of it had already started germinating. The temperatures were very warm, and that's probably the reason for that and then on August the 5th which is about a little over two weeks after the corn was planted I side dressed it with calcium nitrate at two pounds per 100 foot of row and then also on August the 20th I side dressed it again with calcium nitrate about two pounds per 100 foot of row at that point the corn had just started a tassel and I did not fertilize anything after that now with that being said Throughout this time, once the corn started tasseling, I sprayed it with spinosad. Um, and I tried to spray it weekly. I didn't quite get it to spray it that much, but spinosad is an organic spray that helps treat for the corn earworms. Now I'm going to go through and show a couple pictures of the progress of the corn. And then also at the end, I'm going to put a chart that shows step-by-step -step, um, everything I did with the day. This picture here is from August the 7th. And you can see it just rained recently, and this corn was just side dressed two days before this on August the 5th with the calcium nitrate. Now, in this picture here, this is August the 15th. Once this corn starts growing, it really takes off and goes really quick. This is on August the 20th, which is just five days later, and it's still growing real fast. And this is the corn on September the 2nd. On this next video I'm about to post, it's going to be on September the 16th. And you'll see I'm walking through some of that corn, checking it, and there's a lot of it that's ready to be harvested and, and picked at that point. I'd say some of the corn is ready to be picked at this point. You'll see some of the silks have dried out and pretty brown. Like this one right here, it's just pretty much dried out at this point. You see one right there to the right. It still uh, needs a little bit more time there. We'll walk through some more of it and just kind of Check it out there. It looks like some more ears. It's almost ready to go there. They're filling out pretty good. And this is on September the 21st when all the corn at that point had been picked and harvested. This is right after it's been silk and shuck and uh, cut and ready to be blanched and be stored and also i'll put a picture in here we did do some cream corn here's the cream corn after it was done and ready to be stored and frozen and also at the very end i will put a chart up that shows step by step and date by date the things that was done with this corn hope y'all enjoyed if you liked it please give me a like it'd be great if you subscribed also see you next time <music>